Hello traders, this is Hugh Kimura from TradingHeroes.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the risk reward ratio calculator in MetaTrader. Now you may be thinking that there isn't really one and you're, you're right actually there isn't really a built-in calculator but I'm going to show you how to uh, use one of the existing tools to calculate your uh, risk reward and you will also be able to see the exact prices that you um, need to set your profit targets at and your stop losses. Okay, so let's get started. So basically what we're doing is we're hijacking the Fibonacci tool. And if you don't trade with Fib if you don't trade with the Fibonacci tool, um, I'm not a big fan of it myself. So if you don't use it for your regular trading, then you can use it to calculate your risk reward. So let's check it out. We're gonna go we're gonna click on the Fibonacci tool and then we'll just pull one real quick here. And then I have this set up already, but let me take you through the setups. So I'm gonna variable properties. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is on the Fibo levels tab. Um, there's gonna be the existing Fibonacci levels, and if you want to delete, you, you should just you should just delete them all. So you can just highlight them uh, when they're blue. Click delete, and it'll it'll be gone. And then. Once you do that, then you can start adding your Fibble levels. So just click on Add. And in this case, I deleted the, the, uh, the negative one, so I'm just going to put that back. And then <clears throat> here you can, in the description, you can put in the price um, that the, the stop loss is going to be at. So this is, this is going to be your 1R or your risk uh, amount. So in order to do that, you just do percent sign, then dollar sign. And then you can put it in a description like minus one R parentheses. And then you, you do that for the other levels also. <clears throat> one is going to be the entry level where you entered. Um, and same thing, put in percentage dollar sign and it, it'll display the price. Uh, for one R, you're going you're gonna to do a three for the level. And then each level after that is going to be odd. So five, seven, nine etc. 11. If you wanted to add a 6R in here, you could do a 13. Uh, I just stopped at 5. Uh, and then click OK. And then if we come to the Fibo tool here, this is how we use it. So let's delete this. Um, <clears throat> so let's say that, let's start all over, and let's say that you, enter, you entered here because you, you saw these two pin bars and you thought uh, a good place to have a stop would be up here. So you're going to start from here. You're going to pull it up so that the minus 1R is above the other pin bar right there. And that's where your stop is going to be. <clears throat> and then now you have a nice convenient way of seeing the other levels. Uh, let's pull this back in a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, yeah, there. So now, <clears throat> now you can see, okay, this is the entry price. Uh, and then if you use this tool when you're entering, you can also see the price for the stop loss really easily. And then, depending on your strategy, you can target either uh, 1R, 2R, 3R, or even um, up to 5 or 6R. And as you can see, this trade actually would have yielded 5R. <clears throat> so uh, it, it's not for every type of uh, trading strategy. Not all of not all trading strategies target risk reward ratios, but if it is for you, then this is a really convenient way to do it. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people, or, or quite a few methods first target 2R and then maybe leave it on for another 2R or something like that. So I hope that helps um, and thanks for watching. For more useful tutorials, go to tradingheroes.com.